So this is a tutorial on how to modify the layout and look of the ladder display. One of the things we've been keen to do on Better Angel is to give you as many options as possible so you can modify your experience to exactly how you want it. One of the reasons we do that is everybody has a slightly different way of trading and we recommend that you have a different way of trading or interacting with the markets because that's where you'll find your edge. If you standardize things everybody ends up doing exactly the same thing and you have no edge so we want you to have an edge we want you to be able to modify the software and be creative. So let me show you how to be creative on the ladder. This is the sort of default standard display that you could expect to see on Bet Angel, but there are many elements of it that you can modify. And when you modify any of it, then you can actually save each of the modifications that you make to make everything look different. So you can see I've got clean ladder, which looks like that. Um, default, which looks like that. And I've also got, um, well, loads and loads of things. I've got a one ladder display here as well, which is, looks even cleaner. Um, but basically, the situation is, is that you can redefine all elements of the ladder display. Uh, first thing to note is if you drag and drop the bar down the bottom here, that alters how many cells you have on the ladder. So depending upon what size screen you've got, it automatically adjusts to the screen display that you have. If you undock, then you could actually make this uh, as large as you wish. In fact, I've got this running off over <laughs> many screens at the bottom here. But you could actually make this uh, absolutely enormous or completely titchy, if you so wish. So that's one thing to note, is whether you have a doctor undocked, depending upon how large the pane is, it automatically resizes. But also, um, you know, people say, oh, well, I really want this, or I really want that. So, for example, people ask for book percentage. Well, if you want to, you can actually move that around if you want to put the book percentage somewhere else. It's, it's entirely up to you where you want to put that. Or if you don't want it and you think, well, that's wasted space and I could use that to do something else with, right click um, and you can remove that information. So you can actually uh, eliminate it altogether. So if there's elements that you don't want, like the, the countdown, then you can eliminate it by right clicking. Um, and that gives you a little bit more space. Or perhaps you do want something, right click and you can bring it straight back. And then if you use the Save As option at the bottom here, you can actually call that whatever you want and have that as your display. So I always have a default, which is basically nothing's been modified. And then I go around and modify. As you do each individual sport, you think, well, I'll just change this. I'll modify that. You save it out, and then you've got a list of options to choose from here as well. So you can see I've got loads and loads of different screen layouts and everything. Um, but you can modify all elements of the ladder as well. So if you go to the... Um, ladder uh, settings here, you can click on here or you can click on here. You can actually modify how many ladders you've got um, and if you've got more than a certain number of ladders you can split them up to display them individually by rows. Um, there's a whole range of different things that you can do from within there as well. You can modify the height of the ladder. Uh, that looks terrible so I wouldn't have that and that looks too big but then you know it's a nice big box to click on. Maybe I would like that. Uh, but you can modify that at will and other elements behind all of the ladders. And you can modify the staking area as well, um, individual elements of the ladder that are shown or are not shown, depending upon whether you require them, the color of the volume bar um, or changes in traded volume, font size, whether it's displayed in bold, the width of the column. Um, you can modify as well, so if you want the column to be a little bit narrower, that's perfectly possible to do, and you can squeeze more on um, horizontally. But basically, you can modify any element of the ladder, and when you've done that, then just save it out as a My Special Ladder setting, however, or whatever you want to call it. Football, tennis, racing, this event will any start of those individual in five sports. Minutes. Five um, minutes. So basically, all elements of the ladder are modifiable. Save a default when you first use Bet Angel, but then use the modification that you have within the settings area to change and tweak the ladder exactly the way that you want and then save that out as a new setting. And from that point onwards, all that you need to do is go to the settings menu and select the screen that you want to see, and Bet Angel will instantly flick between those individual displays. So that gives you a quick overview of how you can modify the ladder display. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.